This video will demonstrate the graphing feature in ARM. We will generate graphs of our assessment data columns. Start by clicking on a column that you want to graph. Select New from the Graph menu. ARM walks you through the wizard to create a graph. First, specify the treatment numbers to include on the graph. Select one or more treatments by clicking on them in the editor or typing them below in the dialog. Choose the order of the treatments during selection. For example, place the untreated check last. In the next step, choose one or more columns to graph. Click on the column or columns you wish to include or type in the dialog below. If you select more than one column, ARM will ask if you want to create one graph with multiple assessment columns or graph each column individually. The last step requires choosing the assessment header fields for the labels on the report. This selection will be available again if you need to change it later. By default, ARM chooses the PEST code. Click OK. ARM brings up the graph options. We recommend clicking OK to create the graph and then reopening the graph options window. This allows you to make changes while viewing the graph. After making any changes, click Apply Now to view them. On the General tab, select a graph type. Use bar graphs to compare amounts and suggest trends. The style options include displaying the graph in 3D and changing the orientation. A horizontal bar graph often works better to display long treatment labels. The line graph shows trends and values over a continuous scale. Choose your marker option and use the size option to set the size of the markers. You can also change the thickness or line pattern of individual lines displayed on the line graph. The box whisker graph illustrates the spread of data groups around their medians, using of box and whiskers to break down each data group by percentiles. The box whisker graph requires at least four replicates in the trial. The box extends from the 25th to the 75th percentile. The median, drawn as a solid line, divides the box. The whiskers extend from the ends of the box to the largest and smallest observation, not including outliers. An outlier is a point that lies outside the box by more than 1.5 times the height of the box. Use the Display Data drop-down menu to control the display of data points. This option overlays the current graph with a scatter plot of data values. ARM draws larger points if there are multiple of the same value. Choose whether the data points are individual subsample values or plot means. The Fonts tab allows you to change the text font and styling. Choose the component you want to change and make the adjustment. The Labels tab defines the x-axis labels, which ARM prefilled from the treatment description on the trial map. When creating a trial, you can choose the fields used to build these descriptions. For example, the label includes the product name, rate, and rate unit. Treatments that contain two different components are separated by a semicolon. You can change the treatment labels manually on this window or use the reselect button. ARM will ask if you want to make the same updates in the treatment description of the trial map. Select yes to make the updates or no to leave the trial map labels the same. There are a few other options on this tab. Clear the Show Data Labels checkbox to hide the treatment means for each bar or line point in a graph. If the x-axis labels are too long, you can place them in a legend to the right of the graph. The graph displays the results of the mean comparison test for each treatment, using the current mean comparison test on the AOV means table report. Use the Options button to change your statistical settings.
The Legends tab allows you to create a legend if not already using the treatments as the legend. You can also adjust the color and pattern of the graph. ARM pulls the graph title from the trial header. The bottom title defaults to the trial ID but can be changed. Adjust the left and right titles, choose which fields to include, or hide them. The Axis tab lets you control how ARM builds the graph. You can adjust the frequency to display labels on the x-axis and the frequency of ticks. You can also hide or show grid marks on either the y or x-axis. The zero origin option zooms in on the data when calculating the y-axis range. ARM makes the range wide enough to include all data values and the y origin, zero. The user defined option allows you to set the range and ticks manually. By checking the y axis as log scale box, you are switching the y axis from a linear scale to a logarithmic scale. The colors tab allows you to choose a color and background style of various graph elements. Some elements do not support a background style. For those that do, you can select a border or drop shadow. Note, to change the color of the bars, visit the Legends tab. Use the Error Bar tab to define error bars for each treatment mean. The only graphs that support error bars are line and vertical bar graphs. Next, we'll cover the buttons at the bottom of the Graph Options window. The Reselect Data button allows you to reselect the treatments and data columns used on the graph. The Save Set button saves currently configured graph options as a file to use in the future. Note, ARM does not save the actual graph image. This function allows you to create consistent graphs in all trials or share them with colleagues. Use the Load Set button to restore options from a saved set. Click OK to exit the Graph Options window after finishing your configuration. There are several buttons at the bottom of the graph. The Next and Previous Column buttons allow you to quickly switch to different assessment columns within your trial. The Clipboard button takes a screenshot of the graph and allows you to paste it into an email, PowerPoint, Word document, etc. The Save button will save current graph elements to a special ARM graph file. This saves the name of the current trial, selected treatments, and data columns in the trial. Actual data is not saved, so if the trial changes, any new values are reflected in the graph upon opening. The Save As button allows you to save the current graph in several image formats. You can save it to the clipboard or a file, 